Hey there, it's Brian from Winter Garden Yoga, and I wanted to address the questions about the step through. Now, there are usually two types of step throughs in a yoga practice. One is from downward dog, and then we kind of step through to a standing forward fold, or two from downward dog, and we step through to some kind of a warrior position, usually in the sun salutations, or usually found in a, a vinyasa type of flow practice. So first things first, I always recommend uh, getting yourself cleared, make sure that you're good to go. Now the step through is a combination of a plank and it's a combination of a lot of hip flexion. So planking, of course, make sure you're cleared with your finger, hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, low back, and then the step through itself is a lot of hip flexion. You've got to bring your knee up. So make sure your low back, glute, and hamstrings are clear for mobility as well. So let's break it down a little bit. First variation is a step through to a standing position. So if we come to downward facing dog, what we usually do is step through to some kind of a forward, standing forward bend and stand up. But that step through can be uh, challenging for your glutes and your hamstrings. So a couple different things we can do there. Number one, walk the hands to your feet. So you're in your downward facing dog, walk your hands. to here and then stand up. Another thing is to take little baby steps forward towards your hands. So if we're here, you can take a little tiny baby step forward, just a little one. Get on the ball of your foot, another little baby step forward. Now you've got a bend in your knees, obviously. It takes the pressure off your hamstrings. You can walk up this way. something along those lines. So that's, those are different ways to step through uh, to come out of a forward bend. Now to step through into a warrior two, a couple of different things to try. So the first thing, when it comes to the step through, remember it's almost as if you're going into a plank. So make sure you have the ability to do a plank, a proper plank. And the next thing is to make sure you have the flexion in your hips. Because you come to the plank and you get your knee up really, really high. Once your knee is up high and you're in this plank position, just drop your foot. And you're set to go. <clears throat> but that's if you can do that. So you may need to use a foam roller on your glutes and on your hamstring. If that's impossible or uncomfortable, Dharma Mitra teaches it this way. If you're gonna step forward with your right foot, move your right hand like this. And that creates the space for you to continue the setup. You can also assist yourself. Move your hand, use this hand, and work your way up. And then last but not least is what I call the Swenson Step. The, Swims, the Swenson Step, named after Doug Swenson, it can be a little technical, but once you get the hang of it, it can really smooth out your transitions from downward dog to, to warrior two. So allow me to demonstrate. Downward dog. Now the Swenson step, I'm trying to get my right foot up here. So I'm going to create space by stepping with my left foot. So my left foot is set up first. That propels me forward here into the warrior one. Back down. The Swenson step one more time. 
The right foot's going to come forward. So it's the left foot that gets set up first. That pushes me through. Here. So they're just, those are just a few ways to access the step through, whether you're going into a forward bend or Warrior 2 or Warrior 1. Give it a try.